It's day four of our journey, and we're about to unlock another layer of understanding in our 30-day ECG challenge. Let's embark on this adventure together and unravel the mysteries behind the ST segment. So, what's up with the ST segment? Well, it's like the calm after the storm of the QRS complex. It represents the time when your ventricles are all fired up and ready to do their job of pumping blood, but haven't quite finished yet. During the ST segment, your ventricles are contracting and squeezing out blood, but the electrical activity has plateaued. This flat line on the ECG graph tells us that everything's stable in ventricle town, and there's no wonky electrical stuff happening. So we see the ST segment as a flat line on the ECG. But if it's elevated or depressed, that's when we start paying attention. Now, here's the question. Why is the ST segment elevated or depressed in certain conditions? I mean, what's really going on in our hearts when we see that? Let's delve into the inner workings of our heart to understand the mechanisms behind these ST segment changes. Inside your heart, there are layers of muscle tissue. When there's an injury that affects these layers, like during a heart attack, the electrical activity in those injured cells goes haywire. This creates a voltage difference between the messed up cells and the healthy ones nearby. Now, typically, there shouldn't be significant electrical activity during repolarization, which is what keeps the ST segment flat. However, in the injured area, there is significant electrical activity during this phase, leading to elevation of the ST segment. It's like a visual cue for your doc that there's a real problem brewing in your heart muscle. So when you see that ST segment taking off, it's time to pay attention because your heart's sending out a distress call, loud and clear. For example, when there's a blockage in the right coronary artery, which supplies blood to the lower part of the heart, known as the inferior wall, it can have serious consequences. This blockage restricts the flow of oxygen-rich blood to that region of the heart, leading to a condition called myocardial infarction, or heart attack. During a heart attack, the heart muscle in the affected area doesn't receive enough oxygen, causing it to become damaged or even die. This is known as myocardial necrosis. The electrical signals that normally regulate the heartbeat also reach this damaged area, but they encounter disrupted and injured heart muscle cells. These damaged cells behave differently from healthy cells, causing electrical chaos. This disruption of the normal electrical activity in the heart manifests as ST segment elevation on the ECG leads that correspond to the inferior part of the heart. In simpler terms, when the RCA gets blocked, it starves the bottom part of the heart of oxygen, leading to a heart attack. This causes electrical signals to go haywire in that area, showing up as ST segment elevation on the ECG, in the leads looking at the bottom of the heart, which are lead 2, 3, and AVF. Similarly, when there's a blockage in the left anterior descending artery, or LAD, which supplies blood to the front part of the heart, known as the anterior wall, it can result in another type of heart attack. The corresponding leads we see in ST segment elevation in this case are leads V1 to V4, and so on. Don't worry, we have discussed this in a lot more detail in our video on ST segment elevation MI with our renowned cardiologist. ST segment elevation isn't just a random occurrence, it's a reflection of the heart's distress. It's a sign that somewhere in the cardiac landscape, there's a blockage, a lack of oxygen, and damaged heart muscle. Understanding this can be crucial for timely intervention and potentially saving lives. All right. Let's shift our focus to ST segment depression, a significant finding on the ECG that can indicate trouble in the heart. So why does ST segment depression happen? Let's peel back the layers and explore the inner workings of the heart. When the heart isn't getting enough oxygen-rich blood, like during physical exertion or due to blockages in the coronary arteries, it enters a state of ischemia. Ischemia occurs when there is an imbalance between the oxygen supply and demand in the heart muscle. During ischemia, particularly in its early stages, 
the oxygen-deprived heart tissue struggles to maintain its normal function. This can lead to changes in the heart's electrical activity, including abnormalities in the ST segment on the ECG. Now here's the question. Why do we see ST segment depression on ECG? That's right, due to ischemia, or lack of oxygen supply to the tissues in our heart. But why depression and not elevation? When it comes to ST segment changes, whether it's elevation or depression, understanding the underlying mechanisms is key. Here's the scoop. ST segment elevation typically occurs when there's transmural ischemia, affecting the entire thickness of the heart muscle. This widespread injury creates a voltage gradient between the injured area and the surrounding healthy tissue, resulting in ST segment elevation on the ECG. On the flip side, ST segment depression often accompanies subendocardial ischemia, where the injury primarily affects the inner layers of the heart muscle. In this case, the ischemic damage doesn't extend throughout the entire thickness of the heart muscle. Instead, it's more localized, leading to a subtler disruption in the heart's electrical signals, which shows up as ST segment depression on the ECG. So, whether it's ST segment elevation or depression, it all boils down to the depth and extent of the ischemic injury within the heart muscle. To wrap up day four of our challenge, we've explored the intricacies of the ST segment on an ECG. We've uncovered why it behaves the way it does, whether it's elevated or depressed, and what those changes signify for the health of our hearts. Before we sign off, I have an exciting announcement. In our next video, our esteemed cardiologist will delve deeper into the world of ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. Get ready to uncover the intricacies of this critical cardiac condition. And looking ahead to day five of our challenge, we'll be shifting our focus to another vital aspect of the ECG waveform, the T-wave. Join us as we unravel the secrets of the T-wave and discover its significance in assessing cardiac function. Don't miss out on these invaluable learning opportunities. Stay tuned for our upcoming video on ST segment elevation MI and get ready to tackle the next challenge on T-waves. See you there.